If you took a big old gulp of liquid nitrogen, would you survive? I mean, this stuff is cold. We're talking cold cold. Infamously, it can chill something to such a level that if it's dropped, it will shatter. And with that, we come to Brainyard, who, for science, will take a big gulp of liquid nitrogen so we can see what will happen. Wait, wait, Brainyard, we were kidding. Oh boy, you really are a trooper, huh? Well, how about this? Let's have you run a few experiments to find out why anything that is doused in this stuff shatters, what would happen if it got on your skin, and then talk about what would happen if you decided to take a sip. We've even got a chilling real-life story of when someone actually did this. Oh, you heard that right. So without further ado, let's learn what in the world is going on with a liquid nitrogen. Before we get into what liquid nitrogen is, we better talk about good old-fashioned nitrogen. Nitrogen is the seventh element on the periodic table of elements. It is quite common here on Earth, as it makes up approximately 78.03% of our atmosphere. If you want to put that in perspective, our red neighbor Mars has nitrogen in its atmosphere as well, but only 2.7%. So yeah, we've got this in abundance here. In gaseous form, it is considered extremely stable. It is what is known as a diatomic gas. That's because it will bond with other nitrogen atoms. So dia, meaning two, and atomic, referring to the atoms. It is colorless, odorless, tasteless, and truth be told, harmless. This stuff isn't flammable or poisonous. As far as the elements go, it's kind of like a slice of white bread with nothing on it and not even toasted. But as boring as it may seem, it is an absolutely essential element for all life on Earth. It is a fundamental building block used by our cells. It is found in our nucleic acids, which make up DNA and RNA, and our amino acids, which build peptides and proteins. All in all, this stuff accounts for about 3% of the human body. Hey, bread may be boring, but it's necessary to make a sandwich, just like nitrogen is necessary for you to make you, Brainyard. So, now that we have a grasp on what nitrogen is, let's discuss liquid nitrogen. Simply put, this is nitrogen in its liquid state. All matter has a solid, liquid, and gaseous state. Which state it's in depends on temperature, as well as composition. For nitrogen, its boiling points, or when it will turn from liquid to a gas, is negative 320 degrees Fahrenheit. If you dropped the temperature just a little further to negative 348 degrees Fahrenheit, it would now be at its freezing point, and thus, it would now be in a solid state. To give you a little perspective of just how cold this is, negative 320 degrees is about three times colder than the coldest place on Earth, which was clocked at negative 128 degrees in Antarctica in 1983. I mean, there's no way around it. This stuff is crazy cold. So what does this mean for us here on Earth, trying to get a hold of some liquid nitrogen? Well, to put it bluntly, that level of cold is at such an extreme level that it just can't be found naturally on our planet. So how do we have liquid nitrogen at all? Good question. Here's the answer. There's actually a few methods that scientists have discovered to make this super cold substance. One of the most common ways is through compressing air, then cooling it. After the air is depressurized, the various gases will transform into their liquid states. Each element in the air will have a different boiling point, so all you have to do is extract the element you want at a different point during this distillation process. In this case, we want nitrogen. Another common way to get this colder than cold element is to use a device called a cryocooler. For this method, Gaseous nitrogen will be put into a Dewar, named for its inventor, James Dewar, which is a special type of flask that can hold a vacuum. They are double-walled, usually made of stainless steel, and can hold the liquid nitrogen from anywhere from a few hours to up to a full week. The next step is simple. The cryocooler will cool the nitrogen, and as the temperature drops, eventually it will turn into its liquid form, and voila, liquid nitrogen. So, now we know how to get our liquid nitrogen, and we know that it is freakishly cold stuff. But why would we even want to make it? Aren't we just setting ourselves up to accidentally drink it? After all, on a hot summer day, if we saw a sign that says, don't drink extremely cold, 
Well, that's gonna be one of the first things that Brainyard reaches for. Ah, no, Brainyard, don't do it. Uh, we were just speculating here. Phew. Let's get back to why scientists even make this stuff in the first place. Well, if you're a fan of ice cream, you should be a fan of liquid nitrogen, as it's used as a coolant for rolled ice cream, which, if you haven't tried it, you must. It's fantastic, and very fun to watch being made if you ask us. Basically, cream is poured onto a super cold metal surface, and then is scooped in such a way that it is rolled ice cream when it is all said and done. Liquid nitrogen has been used as a way to cool the metal sheet, or to flash freeze the cream and or other ingredients. It's incredibly tasty. But that only scratches the surface of this stuff's uses. Liquid nitrogen has been used in the entertainment industry as a fog machine, commonly used in theater or magic shows, and even in Hollywood to get that spooky atmosphere in your favorite horror movie. Ever have to get a wart removed? One treatment is to freeze the wart off with a few sprays of liquid nitrogen. It may be painful, but it's a safe and effective way to kill the wart, and eventually, it'll fall off. We'd say it's a better choice than the alternatives your dermatologist could use, like either cutting the wart off or using a laser. Ouch. But the uses don't stop there, Brainyard. This stuff is used to keep food products cool as they are transferred long distances, to cryopreserve body fluids like blood over a long period of time, and also as a general coolant for machinery. You may even have some cooling your computer at home. It's incredibly useful stuff, but you shouldn't take it lightly because it can be incredibly dangerous, too. Liquid nitrogen is so cold that any contact with the skin is gonna hurt. I mean, when doctors use it as a wart remover, they only use a little bit at a time, usually through a spray. If someone poured the freezing liquid onto, say, your arm, the skin that it would come in contact with would succumb to cold burns or even frostbite. Your skin would turn white or even bluish gray, and after the pain, you may even experience feelings of numbness. If you were able to get the liquid nitrogen off your skin in time, you might only get away with the affected area blistering and eventually turning black due to the skin being dead. But if you kept pouring, or if you dunked your whole arm into the doer flask and kept it there, you'd be in a lot of trouble. Maybe you've seen those science experiments where someone takes a banana and drops it into liquid nitrogen for a few minutes. Then, they drop the banana on the ground. But here's the thing, as soon as it hits the ground, it shatters like glass into a million pieces. This is because the water that is naturally inside the banana will come in contact with the liquid nitrogen, heat it up, and cause the nitrogen to turn into a gas again. At the same time, the water will freeze and form into millions of tiny ice crystals. These crystals are weakly held together. Add this to the fact that the liquid nitrogen damages the cell walls of the banana, and as soon as it hits the ground, it's gone. The same can be assumed of a body part if it was submerged in liquid nitrogen. And now we come to the question of the hour. What if you drink this stuff? Well, we gotta say this would be one of the most incredibly painful and excruciatingly dumb things you could do. Now, since the liquid nitrogen wouldn't sit in any one place for too long, it wouldn't cause your whole esophagus to shatter or anything. But you would receive cold burns all down your throat, and depending on how much you ingest, you could risk having it collect in your stomach, causing your innards to freeze. The only upside we can give you is that because the temperature of the human body is so high above liquid nitrogen's boiling point, it would very quickly turn into its gaseous form. So again, it kind of depends on how much you would drink with regards to how much damage you're going to sustain. We'd say at bare minimum, you'd get a ton of internal cold burns, and at maximum, think of the banana. Now, I bet you're thinking this could never happen. I mean, who in their right mind would do such a thing? Well, it has happened and it was just as terrible as you can imagine. An 18-year-old from Haitian Lancashire in England named Gabby Scanlon was celebrating her birthday at a bar and took two shots of the liquor Jägermeister laced with liquid nitrogen. It was supposed to give the drinks a sort of cool, smoky, mystifying quality. But the only mystifying part of this story is what happens next. After the second shot, Gabby felt excruciating pain in her stomach. So much so that her friends rushed her to the nearby hospital, and after a CAT scan, the doctors found a large hole in her stomach. Not only that, all the lining in her stomach was destroyed. Doctors had to remove her stomach and connect her esophagus directly to her bowels. Now, 
she can only eat small meals. But doctors say over time her small intestine will grow a small pouch to digest her food. All this just from a few drops of liquid nitrogen in a shot. This really is serious stuff. We say when it comes to liquid nitrogen, treat it with respect. It is incredibly useful and can even be used for fun things like smoke machines or delicious ice cream. But it's serious stuff if not handled properly. We can't bring up that frozen banana enough, Brainyard. Next time you're thinking of cooling off on a hot day with a swig of liquid nitrogen, just think of the banana. Think of the banana.